Hey, I'm Matt Jennings. I have decided to investigate the collision course of food and culture. And we are here in New York City to embrace the noodle in all that is dough. And I'm meeting up with a few of my buddies today to discuss how they are reinterpreting the noodle. Today we're gonna to be exploring the noodle via a few different types of cuisine. Italian with chef Mark Ladner at Del Posto. Latin American with chef Alex Stupak at Empeon. We're gonna meet up with chef Danny Bowen of Mission Chinese and Cantina. Not quite sure what he's going to make, but we do know it's going to be delicious. Everyone loves noodles. I mean, it's like one of the first things I remember like eating as a kid, like that I really, really liked a lot was yeah. noodles. I'm first and foremost like you, a student. I'm also American. I have no Italian heritage at all. The, the Italian side of me is very Italian-American, so I grew up with the typical lasagna and, you know, manicotti and, you know, the, the gnocchi that are as dense as a rock. I ate a lot of noodles, but the noodles I ate were, like, out of a can. A meat sauce on top of, like, just boiled, like, spaghetti that had been boiled way too long and then, like, dressed in a little bit of butter, which I still am very fond of that. You know, I started cooking in the, the mid-80s. It was different than it is now. Drug addicts and degenerates, and Absolutely. that's what made it so great. I used to beg my parents to go out to eat like Italian food when I was younger. In Oklahoma, of course, Italian food, it's a lot better now, but back in the day, it was like Olive Garden and like all these chain restaurants. I feel like I saw on Instagram, maybe or Twitter also, you did uh, a masa pasta, is that right? We actually get fresh masa yeah. from a tortilla, yeah. and we add just the smallest amount of flour that you can add to it. We roll it out and cut it into a, a fettuccine of sorts. And you literally have something that appears as to be a, an Italian dish, but there's actually literally nothing Italian about it. Do you have other favorite noodles? outside of Italian cuisine, different styles of noodle dishes that you love? Well, I mean, certainly I'm a, you know, as much a ramen fanatic as anyone. I've always wanted to open a noodle shop. I think that's the dream of most chefs because it's the thing we like to eat the most. I'm with you on that. We were planning the show and I said, all I really want to go do is go sit at the bar and minko with Danny and have some noodles and like sit and eat. So the noodle has been around since about 1 AD and in various forms depending on who you speak with. The Italians will tell you of course they created it, Asia will tell you that it was created there and that it migrated to Italy. How does it fall into cuisine and why is it something that's had such staying power? They're texturally infinite. You're talking about two very different places that, that have, it's, it's a mainstay in the cuisine, right? But just think about how many different textures just ramen alone could be and same thing with um, with pasta in Italy, just think about the, the different myriad shapes and forms. The noodle holds a lot of flavor when you eat it, whether it be in a soup or a pasta or a stir fry, whatever it is. It starts staying power. I just feel like it's its own thing. I feel like noodle is almost like its own food group. It's a vehicle to, to, to transport other more expensive and luxurious uh, proteins and, and such. Right? Yeah. It's filler. Yeah. I've gone through my phase of, uh, of Trying to be low carb, that's the thing you miss the most. You don't miss the bread, you don't miss like the, you know, you miss pasta. It, it, it's delicious, it, it's satisfying, it's, it's texturally gratifying to eat, and I don't, I don't see how that could ever go out of style. Typically, like a noodle dish, is an, it's all encompassing. It's a meal it's typically eaten, and it's that dish. It's not a component to a meal. When I think of noodles, I think of like something that you really tuck into, it's very comforting on multiple levels, and it's also just very satisfying. I love coming to New York. This city is full of the confluence of culture, arts, food, everything I love. I came to New York to find the perfect noodle. It's amazing to see how these guys have taken something as simple as flour and water and created a memorable dish. 